Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with some more Nier Automata this weekend. Unfortunately, this past week I was not able to really grind too much in this game. I was only able to do it for like a couple of minutes. Uh, I didn't even gain a level. But I did end up buying a buttload of healing items which we need for the uh, part we were stuck on last time. Which we're gonna have to replay, unfortunately, so it was kind of a waste to last like 40 minutes of our last stream, but it happens sometimes in games where it's just like long boss fight situations. But uh, just wanna stop and see if there's any kind of side quests we can do. Maybe try to boost our level at least one before going in there again. But yeah, I bought a bunch of uh, mid heals, 35 of them exact and i don't know if chips work on your ship um i did a quick search a few minutes ago and unfortunately i couldn't really find anything all i could find is how do chips work and it was just like super basic and doesn't say whether or not it works with your ship or not so like should i make one that's like super specific to like long range damage and stuff couldn't really find any of that business Let's, what do we got? Um, hold on, let me reorient. Okay, this is it. This is this is how I want to go. So this is the main story. Uh, we found a mysterious place here. This one wasn't really there. When we were over here, that kind of faded away. I don't know if it's because I just missed it and I walked right past it. Or if it's because we're on a story beat. But let's look at these. We have the giant robot. Uh, we have the uh, dojo. Robo dojo. Which is a fun thing to say every time. Speed run. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Maybe we'll check this out. And then this one. The bane of our existence. We lost all those chips. I still haven't been able to get it back to where I want it. Um, What's this? Another mysterious elevator. Um, for floor. I'm trying to think, what what this one? Oh yeah, that was the one with the boars. Yeah, unfortunately, all uh, a lot of these are just ones where we're just like barely not level enough. And then that's the guy that we need to give money to, I believe. Yeah, 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 because this is the amusement park. This is the robot thing, so this is the guy that we need to give money to. To support. So there's not a lot of these that we can actually full-on do. I guess we'll come over here do this. Um, I'll see about adding speed chips to see if we could do this one. I don't know what other chips to add for the race, other than speed chips. But to be fair, a lot of the race is actually, like, jumping and stuff, so... Actually, let's let's see what kind of speed chips we have right now. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, with this game, I realize there's a lot on like customizing your chip sets and stuff. So like, uh, there are occasions where I do spend quite a bit of time in the menus. Unfortunately, uh, let's see here: skills, plugins. So let's. I'll show you what I have right now. Uh, just the basic ones. Uh, weapon up three. Range up to Shockwave, super base. I want to buy the chipsets from Emil so we can at least have level 3s of some of these. Especially Shockwave. I want to try to get two Shockwave level 3s from Emil so then we can get a uh, level 4. That is so useful in hard mode. Um, range defense also is something I want to buy from Emil so we can level that up. Uh, this one I... Just add it, I don't know. This one is one I could like take off at any time. Evade range. And then yeah, we lost our EXP stuff, unfortunately. Uh, which is something I need to buy again. Again, from Emil, since he's the only one that sells level 3s. But we're broke because I spent a lot of our funds on uh, getting potions and stuff. Wanted to make sure we were all set for that. 
But anyway, let's build out a chipset for speed. I don't even know if we have any. I don't think we, we don't have any. We don't have anything for running. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll just talk to the big robo head. See what he's got to say. Actually, I should swap back to the other chipset since, like, we can't even use this one that we're on. God dang it. Alright, yeah. Let's uh, swap back to that. God, the chipset system is so fucking mean in this game. Although, to be fair, in some of the boss fights, they get do give you time to get your chips back. So it's not even the boss fights that suck. It's just like the overworld. The regu sorry, regular open world. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard to gauge, even with your EXP gauge on, like how much more you need for the next level. And we are getting some decent XP without having the um, EX boost on. Right, let's go talk to the big old robot head. Max HP chipset. Fast cooldown chipset. Okay, fast cooldown, I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming maybe that goes with our pod. Wow. It just chose death. We're no different. Huh? How so? We've destroyed machines beyond counting. Perhaps someone sees that as a sin. To be. I guess that's uh, finished with the storyline. And just like that, we're back in the chipset. God damn it, this game, like everything, everything you do! Back to the chipset. Wait, um, would it be under systems? No, that's the basic HUD stuff. Words. What would HP be under? Oh, it's still right there. Bam. That is big. That is a fat chunk of health. I really wish there were more ways of healing. Objects. Oh, this. Operator six zero to two B. Come in, two B. I read you, operator. Go ahead. It looks like the transporter we installed in the city ruins has gone offline. Our service activity is going to be severely limited until we get it fixed. Can you head over there and get it working again when you have a sec? We'll do. Thanks, two B. Sending the details now. Report. Mail notification. 
notification received from access point. Analysis. Non-functioning transporters can result in serious limitations to data uploading and other vital mission activities. Recommend repairing transporter as quickly as possible. Understood. I don't even know why I do that. I'm gonna go in here. Whoa, we have a bunch. Jackass fish. Cool. So we have that for Jackass. Okay, all users. Okay, let's see if we can find that jackass. I'm assuming she'll be over where she normally is. Are the gold robots still here or have they moved on? No, nope, they're still oh, here. That's new. Yeah, unfortunately. Ah, fuck, there's two of them. Engaging. Pot, analyze the enemy. Fucking bananas, yo. Front door. Oh, is she not over here? Where's Jackass supposed to be? Oh wait, no, we did see her um Positioning. Okay, this this is the base. All right. Uh, did see her down here before. Terminal repair. Um, how much could she be? Is she just at the regular base? Oh, what's this? Okay, two mystery things here. Maybe we'll go check those out. And some mystery thing here. Alright, we'll go check those out for the time being. Um... We'll check- we'll, we'll do this first, clear it, get the terminal working, we'll teleport back, we'll sleep in the bed so we'll get full health back. I do not want to use our healing items if we don't have to. I really do wish that we would get- that there was that the safe spots would heal us, but who knows? Maybe that would be a later on upgrade in the game. He's like they already upgraded all of the safe spots once with the teleporter. Oh wait, is Jackass still here? Oh weird. Okay, I thought that would be marked on the map. I have to like literally go into my inventory and eat it. What would fish be under?
Okay, I might have wanted to say before doing that. <laughs> Let's uh, see how this goes. Critical malfunction. Oh boy. Did we just get one of the endings? Was that ending K? God damn it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, I'm looking it up right now. It is! Oh my god. Okay, well, that's uh, ending down. God damn. And what was the other one? Wasn't there uh, another one at the beginning? Or after flying your ship? Or failing to fly? Oh, okay. It does it. It tells you right there what endings we got. I wonder. Okay, good to know. So I found a warning on the wiki. Endings F through Z you should save before doing because they push you back to the main screen. I figured that out. <laughs> Did not know that was how one of the endings would come about. We died via fish. And that's why it's not a main quest. I feel bad doing that. <laughs> I love that song. We don't have anything, but still. Uh, let's see if we can sell anything. Yeah, I already sold off a lot of this stuff. We haven't really been upgrading much stuff either. Machine core. I have a. I think that's for upgrading something super important. I cannot recall. Um. Let's see here. Get mask. I don't remember where we got that from. I know selling these are gonna be a big mistake, cause that's like gonna be grind heavy shit later probably. So many of those. Uh, you don't really use too much charge attack stuff. I don't know, it's just like, these can be leveled up, so like, they might be shitty now, but later on they could just like, jump in percentage. So it's just like, ah, what do I do? Wait, what are some of these, uh... Oh yeah, the easy mode ones are super cheap. Fudge! Alright, unfortunately we don't have anything. Wait. Wait, what? What is this? A meal! Oh, so the shit that you sell is different. Is that based on location or each time we come to see you? Budge, which means I might not be able to buy chips from him again. Right, let me try re-going into the store. No, I guess it's every time we interact with him. I 
I'll buy another one of these. I don't know, just in case those are rare. Oh man. Well, we didn't have stuff to buy from them anyway. Alright, let's go take care of this situation. Probably. Proposal. Unit 2B should destroy the enemy machines. What's that it? I was assuming it was probably going to be something base like that. I was unsure whether or not it was going to be something more in-depth of like... I don't know, anything a bit harder. Well, at least, hey, our health is like... All the way up. Wait, due to that ending, did we lose? Did we lose our chipset? No, it just just pushed us back, right? Yeah, it just pushed us back to our previous save. Okay, I just wanted to be sure that that didn't somehow count as a death. So endings aren't deaths. You keep chips wait what 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 it's still saying there's a mission here what i'm not understanding what do we need to do i hear robot sounds Oh, that's why. We pushed one and he fell down. Is that all of them? Let's check this thing out. I don't see any damage. Analysis. Transporter is now operational. Okay, there we go. This is Yorha Unit 2B. Connect me to Bunker Operator 6-0. Oh, hello, 2B. Operator 6-0 here. The transporter was being jammed by machine life forms. It should be working now. Looks green on my end, 2B. Nice work. I'll let Command know right away. I'll also be sending over a little reward for all your hard work. Roger. Yay. You know, 2B, I'm a little jealous. Don't get me wrong. I know all this fighting isn't easy for you, but you get to see all these new and amazing things out there. It just... It might be nice to visit the surface sometime, you know? That's all. I see. Uh... Right. Apologies for the unnecessary chatter. Anyway, Operator 6-0 out. I seriously don't understand these robots. Or, sorry, androids. Because it's like, oh, we're not supposed to have emotions. Yet literally everyone has emotions. It's kind of like the whole Kingdom Hearts 2 Organization 13 thing. Where it's like, we don't have feelings. Except when we have feelings. <laughs> it's like, god damn it. All right, we got that. Uh, we're gonna go towards the forest and check out what are those uh, missions over there. So, a bit of heads up, guys. Tomorrow, uh... I do have some plans. I don't know if it's going to interfere with my streaming or not. I might just push it to be a little bit later tomorrow. Unfortunately, I've been doing that a lot lately, which I hate. Nope, not going to deal with you. Those big robots, I feel like they don't really pay out good enough to like warrant having to deal with. Mainly because of like the like very like they occasionally do like those swings that do shock waves. It's like it's not consistent enough where it's like every time he does it, I need to know to like dodge. It's it just every so often. So it's just like, God damn it. <laughs> it occasionally catches me off guard. Wait, wasn't there a, wasn't there a thick in here? 
I don't know. Wait. Why is it at the terminal? Uh, show me my location, buddy. Okay, yeah, it's something over here. Hmm, that's a strange flower. Analysis. It is a plain lunar tear. That's what it was. A lunar tear. Huh? When did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again. Or another where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. It's like something's pushing down on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find lunar tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? After quest, Emilio? Aw, thanks. If you find another lunar tear, just let me know on this frequency, all right? I'm counting on you. You got it, little buddy. God damn it. Now that we actually need them, like my mind's going blank of crap, we've seen them so many times before. Where were they? You just haven't been able to interact with any of them, so I kind of just pushed them out of my mind at one point. Fudge. Pretty sure each zone has, like, at least one. Yeah, hey, the base cam. We never did check it out once we got one set up. What up? Forest branch of the resistance. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I need to figure out what the hell the sound does exactly. And then, yeah, a bunch of basic stuff. This is what I don't understand. How do you know you're not the human race? I don't know if I have any of that on me. I think I might have already sold all of that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I sold all of that. Uh, let's see if there's any, like, what, if there's a specific amount that we need. Turf war. Okay, one moose meat, one boar meat. Alright, that'd be easy. Hopefully. Alright, we're gonna head in here. Query, since androids generate energy from water, what purpose does the resistance have with animal protein? Don't ask me. Like, seriously, are, like, isn't the resistance like humans? Since they're not android or robots? Do they just, like, not know they're human or something? What I'm assuming. My robot's down there.
Oh yeah, and I did have a theory that maybe... Moose, uh, meat? Okay, yeah. Uh, I did have a theory that maybe Near Replicant was, like, all a simulation, and that's why, like, Kaine's story was all, like, computer simulation-like. But if it was... But, uh, if that was true, then that would mean, uh... Like, that, that, the whole simulation theory wouldn't make sense because Emil wouldn't have a physical form. Uh, let's do... Finish that. We should be able... Oh, God. Oh, God, I thought he was gonna charge us. Okay. We're good. Hey, what up, Devola? No, don't think so. Don't think so. They got the memo. I kind of murdered your king. Well, at least I was there when he was murdered. The boom. Okay, I don't know what this next area thing is going to be, so let's bring this boy back. Um, we have not really done any endings. It's ironic you ask that, because we literally just accidentally did ending K, where we eat a fish and we end up dying. <laughs> because it was bad fish. That's like all we've really gotten so far. It's been slow, just because we're playing on hard mode. So, I had to take it super slow, getting as far as I am. Yeah, literally, like, I don't, I don't know, how long is the stream going? 30 minutes? So I'd say about 20 minutes ago, I ate a fish and died. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't know that was an option for an ending. All right, what are we looking for here? Yeah, same difference, you know. <laughs> Either way, it was death by fish. Yeah, hopefully we'll do a lot better this week, because... Last weekend, I really dropped the ball and went into a fight that was way over my head and ended up losing our entire chipset. Like, I had to restart again from scratch with the chipsets. I don't know how the chipsets work on lower difficulties, but good lord, it is so brutal in hard mode. This game on hard mode might be worse than Dark Souls. Just because, personally, I find you have to rely a lot more on your chipsets. And losing those can really put you back. Classic. Death by Mackerel. Uh, yeah. I've met Emil. In fact, we were uh, just talking to him a little bit ago, and we just got the uh, quest for the uh, Lunar Tier. So, uh, if we ever run into a Lunar Tier, we should let him know. Yeah, trying to figure out what his biz is going on in this game. I really hope at some point we uh, help him find his body. I don't think we will, but I hope. What the hell are we looking for? I know there's a cave over here. Oh, it's a lunar tier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a lunar tier, right? We better let Emil know. Hey there, guy. What's up? We found a lunar tier. It's located in. Stay right there. I'm coming. Uh, okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all day. Sorry to keep you. Yeah. Oh, hey. 
Now that I think about it, this whole area was once... Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? Thanks a bunch for finding this. Really. Oh, and let me know if you find any more, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Confirmed, Emil, best boy. Actually, can we... Hmm. Okay, so I didn't know that the uh, lunar tier would actually show up on our map, so that's good to know that that will pop up close. Yeah, uh, main story-wise, we're up to the point. Uh, bring up the map. Oh, oh other way. So we unlock the forest area. Uh, we just... Positioning of this map. Oh my god, it murders me. All right. Uh, we just unlock like the sea area. And uh, we're going to have to do that combat where we get into the airplane. We did it at the end of last stream, but unfortunately it was just running so freaking long. And we got stuck right at the end. And I had no healing items. I just kept on getting, like, one-shotted. So we had to, like, backtrack, like, 30 minutes. So that's where we're at with the main story. I don't know how deep into the story it is. It's hard to really gauge. I don't know what, how long the uh, main story itself is. Plus, I've been trying to do as many side quests as possible. Since, you know, we're on hard mode and we need that sweet EXP. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, we talked to them. We have that. Uh, let's let's look for some boar. They needed some boar meat. Try to pick some of that up. Heal for me. Ah, damn it. That should be enough deer and boar meat. Oh, okay. Let's get it back to the trader. Yeah, so it seems like they just automatically give you moose and a boar meat the first time you fight them once you get the quest. Good to know. Yay! We got her. Yeah. All I have to say is, like, thank God this area has so many enemies in it. It makes trying to get... XP way easier than all the other areas. Pascal? Um... I, that, I believe that's the head of the robot village, right? That was like one of the first, uh... Other characters we met, really, once we went to the amusement park. Yeah. Isn't that, like, a main story thing? Like, don't we, like, have to meet them for the story progression? I'm trying to think now. Is it optional? Oh. Yeah, don't want to get hit by those spears. Could easily be taken out by them. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out... What the hell's going on? Honestly, I thought, uh... So, like, the whole story here is that there was an alien invasion. I honestly thought the whole alien thing was a lie. And it was some, like, conspiracy. And, like, it's the robots that are the bad guys and stuff. And then we did the quest where it's like, nope, there's the aliens. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Didn't realize that was an actual thing. All right. <laughs> Uh, I've done most of them. Uh, right now, there aren't any. Except for, like, the one where we have to give money to that one, like, uh, inventor guy. As well as, like, the occasional ones along the edges where it's, like, we have to uh, escort the parade along their parade path while they're being attacked. I think there's one that's popped up over near there. level twos i have not really been using any of the uh like level up potions i mean uh attack ups and stuff like that in this one yeah the parade one is super hard i already did the first one like the first wave i have no idea how we completed that because at the end we were just getting so screwed and I somehow survived and took them all out. So it's just like, lucky. Uh, let's check the map. I think there was... I hate the positioning of the map. So much. Because it's like the opposite of what how I think of the map. Yeah. Like, give us some cardinal directions here. North, south, east, west. Wait, what's... Oh, that's cur us current location. <laughs> uh turf war oh we got this mystery one that's right like between the king the forest kingdom and the uh, robot Pascal's village let's run uh we got that what's this this might be yeah lunar tier I was just gonna say I thought I saw one in Let's go do that. Uh, we'll take this path, come out to the robot village, figure out what this is, and then like run on over here to that. And then I also have this. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out what the hell these two are. It's like if you rotate the map, they look to be like way underground. And it's like, what are you? But uh, I did get the DLC, and I don't know anything really about it, because it was, like, super vague, and it said, oh, you'll unlock certain quests once you go for certain endings, and it's just like, cool, so specific, thank you, internet. <laughs> uh, lunar tier? Okay, another lunar tier right there as well. Okay, so we have two lunar tier spots. Let's go do that, and yeah, I'm pretty sure we're super low on funds still. I want to try to get some chip sets from Emil. Because he had some good ones. But I don't know. So, I talked to him two different times, and each time his store was different. Does his store change just based on his location? Or is it just like random? Like what is in his shop? That's something I uh, need to find out. I've done, I think, two side quests from the bunker, but yeah, that's something I do need to do. 
Uh, we were just up there for the main story and there was nothing there. And I was going to return after the story beat that we were going to do. The big uh, uh, ship gun mission where we have to like shoot out all these different flying enemies. Oh, dang it. I keep forgetting. You have to go up to the second level and then drop down to get over there. I always think it's on the first level. Dang it. Dapper. Dapper robot. Ah. Alright, where are you? Up the gate, I believe. Yep, there you are. Oh, is that that locked uh, door in the back that we found? That's gotta be it. Alright, we did find a locked door in the way back. Whoa. Oh no, that's probably because of that turf war mission. Um, I want to wait and gain a few more levels before we retry that because we got totally owned last time. Whoop. Damn it! I'm never gonna make that platforming all the way to the end. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to assume they're probably gonna respawn some waves of enemies when we go through for this quest. Actually, wait, hold on. It looks like there's two different quests ahead. Treasure Hunter? Oh, it's okay, so it's just two of the same quest. Got it. We did fully explore this castle already, except for the uh, door in the far back. It's the only thing left that we haven't uh, really gotten to. Even that hidden room that you have to like jump off a bridge and glide down to get to. Figured that one out. Proud of myself. But yeah, I love these ruins so much. Total Ico Shadow of the Colossus vibes. Love it. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> the distance always surprises me when they do their spear. I have. i ridden a moose. I think it was literally the last stream I figured out I could do that. Because I, like, jumped and I accidentally, like, was pressing buttons when I was falling and I ended up landing on a moose and I was like, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's what those were for. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forged Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Oh, okay. I, ha I do remember finding a bunch of those, but I couldn't really open them. Because they uh, said it was something like that. Okay. Fudge. I can't remember all of where all of them were. I'm gonna re-look around. That was the main exit. There was one church just down there. Already opened. Um, 
Where else did we find some? Uh, the treasure chest up there was already opened. So we don't need to go there again. Deadly healing. Yeah, I have been, uh... I've been looking at, like, the different kind of healing ships and health expansion stuff. I haven't... I don't think I've used that one specifically yet. Because I don't think I have that high of a level. I think I only have it, like, level 2. But I have wanted to, like, level up some more different ships. Because I kind of stuck with the basic, like... Physical attack boost and like defense stuff as well as like health boost As well as the the XP oh my god, I'm so angry. I had like XP level I think level five and I end up dying and losing it and it's just like no And it was one of those ones where it's like you die and you lose it But then you return to get it you can't find your body and then you finally do and then a giant robot fist immediately murders you as soon as you find it. It's just like, no, it was right there. Why must you do me wrong, giant robot? Um, is there any other? I know there's, I think, two more church chests in here. That has. I'm just gonna jump on past that. I think so. Oh yeah, it was... No. Uh, looks like we opened up the treasure chest over there. No, 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 no. That's not when I reloaded the save. I was super lucky. I literally, like, saved right before talking to Jackass. Um, It was our last stream... And we just got the quest. I I found the path down this giant crevice to, like, this bottom area. And they were like, oh, come over here and fight these enemies. It's like, okay. They were, like, level 30-ish. And then there was a giant robot that was level 50 and just destroyed me. And I'm like, oh, awesome. was the other chests? I think it was down? Oh, no, no. Wait, there, there's one. It's up. It's up, All right? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forged Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Yeah, I didn't really think of that. Because, like, uh... It was a group of weaker robots, and once you destroy them, then the strong one comes out. I'm like, oh, I can do this. But then I couldn't find the body, and then 9S just ended up wiping out all the robots, spawning the big one. It's like, no, you bastard! Betrayal! And then, yeah, he showed up and destroyed me. And I'm like, god damn it. This is why I go solo. And I still haven't figured out how to open up these either. The uh, locked ones. Figure that out. Yeah. I can't remember if there's another chest over here or anywhere. Ooh. 
Yep, not dealing with you. Sorry, buddy. Without having lock on, those enemies are a pain. Oh, wait. What's down there? God damn it. All right. We'll, we'll come back. We'll push forward, and then we'll come back. Yeah, I had a... I had a high XP boost and a... What was it? The shockwave? Where it's like when you slash, there's like that shockwave that comes out. I had like a level 3 of that, which is super helpful in hard mode. It can keep you ranged. And I lost that, and it's just like, no! Then I saw Emil's shop, and he was like, level 3 is everything! It's just like, yes! Yeah, but I didn't even think. Yeah, I could just reload the save. I never even thought of that. I just assumed that they, like, did some sort of, like, auto-save when you died or something. And, like, you respawned. Unless it's one of those ones where it's, like, immediately after dying, like, quit out. So, like, it doesn't auto-save. Some biz like that. <laughs> I don't think there was a treasure chest in this room. Silver ore. Alright, we'll backtrack and we'll find out what was underneath it. I think that was just a path to another room. I don't think treasure chest on. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about the. Oh yeah, the forger. I haven't. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, didn't he tell us there was a weapon or something that we should look for? I haven't looked at upgrades in a hot minute. Mainly because I'm selling all my materials so I could redo my chips and shit every couple of times. I have not been, like, uh, super efficient at money in this game. Due to, you know, debts and having to redo chips and not thinking, oh, I could probably re re reload my save. And honestly, it's surprising. I haven't really found too many weapons. In fact, I don't even know how many weapon sets there are in this game. And, oh yeah, that's just level one. God dang it. Or that would be easy. Amber, that's actually kind of a bit easy. But the dented one, I can't get. Yeah, this this is something I need to look into. I keep forgetting to look into uh, where to get certain parts. But yeah, I've mainly been rocking the main, just a standard sword and a spear, rather than the Buster swords. We don't really have any of that. Crap, didn't he tell us there was like some sort of legendary weapon or something that's hidden somewhere? Crap, I can't remember. He told us something cool last time we met him. I remember that. There we go. Aha, there was one in here. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be oh, okay, route B or later. Good to know. Of the forest kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Analysis. Machine life form parts can be assembled in some fashion. Processing. Processing. 
Processing complete. Machine life form parts can be assembled into a key. Mm. Proposal. Initiate search for a door that matches the key. Awesome. No, you bastard, you won't let me... Oh, man, okay. In weird, invisible wall there. Ooh, not happening. So, uh, what have you been playing, Devla? Anything new? Oh, wait, no, was it down? Yeah, right now I'm just kind of uh, trying to get through, like, the base story and get all that done. And then I was going to look into, like, some of the other endings to actually uh, try to figure out how to get them. I want to try to do all endings on stream. But I have no idea, like, the difficulty of any of them or, like, how long any of them are going to take. So we will see. All right, sweet. We came to the store before and it was locked, so let's see what is on the other side. Combat style. Oh, that. Mm, okay. Ah, uh, this is this is uh. God damn it. I don't understand. Why are they asking this question? Um. We're gonna die, aren't we? Let's try passive. Oh, wait, no! Oh my god. I thought we were opening the door, and I'm like, why did they ask that? It was 9S. That's like the second time I've done that. And I accidentally selected 9S instead of the thing we were trying to do. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's just go balance. Door. There we go. <laughs> Did you see the uh, PlayStation stream that happened the other day? And they revealed like a bunch of new games that are coming out. Ray tracing, but not really. <laughs> Look at these volumetrics. They were only not super pixely. Oh, I thought he was hiding. Not <gasps> didn't know that was a thing. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I thought the missiles could break through some shields. Okay, so that looks like the electric attack. This is why we need higher level shockwave.
No. Uh, did you find anything there that uh, you were interested in? Oop. I don't think so. Honestly, it's weird. Recently, it just feels like a lot of the conferences, either they're showing off new stuff that I'm like not interested in, or they're just showing off like updates on games we already know about. Even though the PlayStation stream, like a lot of it was new stuff. Not a lot of it was really like, whoa! It was just like, oh. <laughs> like, oh god. Why is life becoming more and more disappointing? <laughs> Whoop! Don't think so. <gasps> Mother of god damn you! Mmm. Okay. Well, we we weren't that far back. Um. I think I'm gonna try to uh, reload my save. See how that goes. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, they showed off a remake of Alan Wake, which is. Connected to Control, which I really love Control. I haven't played Alan Wake at all. So I'm really excited for that to come out. Alright, uh, yeah, let's try seeing if we can exit out and reload with our chipset. Oh, sorry, uh, it's... I believe it's a remaster? But, yeah, yeah, it's a remaster, remaster. I think they did upgrade some of the textures, but I think that's it. Oh, just pick load instead? Oh, okay. Sorry, I just saw it as soon as I selected it. It's just like, god damn it. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a remaster. Sorry, sometimes I interchange those two words. It's a bad habit. <laughs> but I believe it's the first time it's coming out on PlayStation. Or it was only Xbox and PC. Plus, uh, yeah, that was an interesting one that they showed off. And there was one for Square Enix that they've been showing off. That looks like it's coming along nicely. On a blank on its name. Or spoken. Where it's like, uh, it's a specific genre in anime that started becoming popular in the last few years where, like, you're a person in the regular world and you get summoned to, like, a fantasy realm. Like, that's basically the theme of the next Square Enix game that's supposed to be really big. It looks pretty cool. Graphically, the world looks amazing. I'm looking forward to that. And then plus, you know, Insomniac revealed their next two games. Which, I'm excited about both. Okay, we're good. We're back. We have our... We have our computer hacking skills, our nunchucking skills, all of the skills. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because we just got this one not too long ago, and it's just like, yes, we need to keep this, please. <laughs> I need to level up Shockwave so bad. God dang. It's just... That's one of those fights where it's like, it doesn't feel that hard to get through. It's just like a little time, more time consuming than you want it to be because you just kind of have to play it more carefully. All right, I think this was the last one that we needed. Whoop, was just this one right here. I 
analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should put that on. Analysis. Machine life form parts can be assembled in some fast processing. Process. Process. Proposal. Into a key. We got it. All right. Yeah, okay, let me put that on right now. Thank you for reminding me. Um, oops. Oh, wait, no. All chips. All right, where are you? Yeah, some of these I just got, like, a lot recently. A lot of basic ones, so I was trying to level them up. Wait, do I have melee defense on? At all? Dude. Okay. Deadly heal. Yeah, I have a, I got a lot of those. I don't even know where I got them. I was just like looking at my inventory and it was like, whoa. I had so many more because they they were all just like the basic version, not even the one plus. So it's like that's how many I had <laughs> that I could make all of these. Okay, I have deadly heal. Uh, what one does that do? Recover 30% for every enemy defeated. Yeah, that's super useful. Except when you're, like, fighting a boss, though. Because it's just, like... I figure out... I need to find a good one for, uh... I can't remember. If there's a chip that, like... You can heal over time if you're, like, doing damage to an enemy or something like that. I need to find out if there's something like that in the game. Automatically use a heal item. That doesn't really do anything. This, I don't understand why this is in a game. Raise players and enemies attack power. Like, why? Is there a benefit to actually having this on? Does it, like, make boss fights actually easier because we're, we're doing more damage? Although, technically, we are getting one-shotted, so it's like, it doesn't matter if they're, like, 240% stronger, because either way, they're going to one-shot us. Eh. Hmm. I'm actually seriously thinking, should I put this on? Because, yeah, at this point, like, most enemies can one-shot me. You know what? I I'll test that out later. I'll test it out later. Actually, no. I don't even need to. Okay, maybe you all know the answer to this. I was trying to find the answer earlier today and I couldn't. Do you know if any of the chips uh, affect like the flying parts of the game? Like when you're in your ship and you're doing those flying shooting areas? Like if you increase your long range attack or something, does it affect that? I wasn't really able to find an answer for that. I think I'm going to run back and try to save again now that we have the final key and we changed up our chipset a little bit. Just so if we end up dying again, I won't have to redo that another time. Whoop. Yeah, dang it. That's like, that's the answer I've been finding. It's either nobody's, nobody talks about it or just they're unsure. And that's actually quite interesting when you find something like that because it's like it's clearly this game clearly has a dedicated fan base and it's been years so it's like interesting when stuff like that like nobody really knows about it still like uh oh, what was it there was a game that came out many many years ago and like the creator was talking about it, and he's like yeah there's secrets in that game that people still haven't found yet and it's been like 20 or 30 years that the game's been out God, what game was it? Crap, I'm trying to blank on it. Hold 
detected. Um, I don't. I think I might, but they're low level. I I'll look into that. Sorry, I'm not. I don't really. Uh, I haven't really looked into all all the chips. I've only just kind of been trying to do basic like defense, attack stuff, XP boost. Because I feel like I'm still early enough in this game where it's like I could still really customize. I just want to try to customize so I can do, like, a lot of damage and, like, do farming for XP when I can. But unfortunately, like, the last two weeks I've been busy and I haven't been able to do much farming for XP. God, do I wish we had a block. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Ah. Okay, that did way worse than last time. Good lord. Oh yeah, I also need to find out uh, how to get more of those little flying pods, too. Because I accidentally found the missile one out in the desert. And I don't know if the other ones you just find in the world, or if you do something specific to get them. I need to uh, find that out. And if I can even find any more, uh, like, where I'm at in the story now. God dang it. Oh, wait, no, no, reload. Uh, that was almost a big mistake. Sense of healing three. All right, I might, then I might have it. Let me check. Is it actually called, like, Offensive Healing, or is it called something else? Just so I know uh, what I'm looking for. Ooh, skills. Uh... Down it. Oh yeah, I always forget down attack does a shitload of damage too. I always forget that's a thing that I could probably try to incorporate into my attacking more. I need. To, God, there's so much of this game that I need to look up. Like crit rate. If I raise these high enough, does the percentage like start jumping higher, or is it always like very low? Just to know like if it's actually worth leveling it up or not. A range attack. I need to get a higher range attack as well, as well as just general defense. Anti-chain damage. E offensive healing. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I have one of those. And we're golden. Whoop. And now we can run straight to the door and not have to deal with any nonsense. Actually, let's see. Can we bring one of these people along? Maybe? Run! Oh, they're going to stay there and fight it, aren't they? Yeah. Dang it. All right. Hopefully they'd come along. I was actually doing good with the missiles on. So I'm going to try to put those back on. But yeah, that dude's shield just wasn't breaking. Last time. So maybe I'm going to have to play this super slow and just stay ranged and try to be behind him and have a... Hold on. Nine, 9S. God dang it. I actually want to talk to you. I'm going to have 9S play aggressively. Just so he'll get all up in there and distract him. Okay. Go, you little psycho. Fight. 
I'm gonna have to get behind. I'm, gonna... I'm really hoping there's not gonna be more of these guys down the road. Hey, honestly, not too bad. It does decent amount of damage over time. So we just need to make sure we, we're staying behind. Ninus, come on, pull, pull him, pull him. Oh, hello, body. Nice. Okay, sweet. I know heavy on top, heavy attacks on shields can uh, break them. But I get so nervous when I get up close. That's why I have shockwave on, just so I can play more range, even with melee attacks. Plus that move. <laughs> Sweet. Oh no, don't get stuck on a wall. Uh. Okay, yeah, this thing's getting destroyed. Oh my god. Some of these robots you summon are just so beyond broken and help you out so much. But honestly, hard mode... It's hard as hell, so I'll take the totally OP help. What's this? Some kind of writing. It reads, here lies the king of our forest. Alert, storage media found. Digitization and saving complete. Oh, so this is the king of the forest. I thought that baby in the crib was like the king or something. Is this the treasure? Or anything behind them. No go. Rapid camera angle changes. It always scares me, and it's like, what's happening? What's going on? I don't like change. Wait, come on. Pick up the item. There we go. Oh god. Yeah. I'm gonna play it safe and save again. God damn it. Back off my business, Ines. Oh yeah, I haven't figured it out. Is there a way to select what items are on your like quick select menu? Because I'd rather have like um like attack up and stuff like that on there instead of that uh what was it? Voltage proof. I haven't figured out if there's a way to do that yet. The baby. No clue? Okay. Thought I'd ask. Because that would be super helpful. <laughs> because I do not use voltage proof for like anything. Although, I guess that last enemy using those lightning attacks would have been somewhat useful for that. Actually, um, I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe we'll try... We'll turn in this quest, and then we'll try this other quest that's, like, right over there. Hey, buddy. And I need to look into, do they ha they have to have toys of these robots? Hmm. 
9S is stuck on our door running. <laughs> nice! Neat. Got some sweet monies. Okay, there's a robot that we uh, basically fund him making stuff. And like you can give him different amounts of money. Do you know if it's actually worth putting a lot of money into him? He's like, I've been trying to like pump him up because I don't know what like the final product is. And I've given money to him a couple of times. And like sometimes it's like okay stuff, other times it's just complete crap. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know how that guy works. Is he worth pumping a bunch of money into? So the leader of the pack was ah! In... Are you kidding me? Immediately! Damn you! That does not vote well at whether or not I can do that. <laughs> And do this. We're gonna reload. God damn it! I was hoping we'd do better. <laughs> okay, actually, let me check the map. Sometimes the chips are like slightly back. Are they? Body. Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's like in a no-go zone, so we're gonna reload. And this is why you save frequently. Awesome. <laughs> Useless aesthetics. Oh. oh yeah, definitely worth it. I think I've already given him like a hundred thousand. Oh my god, duh. Hold on, hold on. Let me just save right here. Boom. Alright. Let's try that boar again before we even talk to that other guy to collect again. Boom, dead body. Yes. All right, you'll be helpful. Hey, kids want to see you dead body. <laughs> Where's Joaquin Phoenix when you need him? That was a Stand By Me reference for the kids in the audience. <laughs> wow. So the leader of the pack was a machine? And the other robot's already gone. You know what? Let's see if we could just cheese it. I am perfectly good at okay with cheesing a fight. <laughs> Oh, you bastard. Nope. You're right. You're right there just waiting for me, dude. You know, you could hop up on there and you can eat a whole bag of dicks. Oh, don't think so. Don't think so. Don't think so. Not happening. Oh. 
Bye bye. God damn you bushes. Oh, oh, oh. Honestly, it's not that hard. Just like having to take out the mobs is a bit difficult. Ah, God damn. Cat-like reflexes over here. I deserve that. All right. <laughs> Yeah, there's just like a lot of small grinding stuff I need to do off stream. Like uh, getting the stuff for the pods so we can level those up because that uh, sea front area finally gives us access to uh, what was it, pure water, drinking water, like one of those. So we can actually level up the pods if we actually get those. Oh yeah, I I just keep forgetting that we have uh secondary stuff with these pods. Like I have this. I keep forgetting this is a thing, and then we have these. I'm super bad at that. I don't know why. <laughs> For some reason it just like completely is out of my mind until I remember and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the thing in this game. <laughs> I really hope a leveling up your pod will level that up as well. So, like, the shield will stay longer, or, like, whatever thing you have equipped will, like... Hold on. I am... God, I am so bad at remembering this! Jesus! I only have two. The basic one and the one that shoots rockets that you find in the desert. I need to find the other ones. I guess the Lord is just like about to look up. I don't know how many pods there are in the game. But I think it's only A and C that I have. Yeah, A and C. Like, of course. Damn you! Damn you and your fishing mini games. Although, I don't know. I don't get fishing in this one. It just seems like super easy when i've done it it's like just literally throw the thing out and reel it and pull it in dang it this wiki site is so terrible if you search for something and like you go back a page it doesn't go back to like the search page it goes back to like the previous page you were on so dumb. Oh yeah, bee pods you can catch by fishing. By the flooded city, okay. Yeah, I have the wiki like pulled up just right next to me. Wow. So the leader of the pack was a machine? God damn it! I'm bad at this. God damn it. I think I just fucked up. All right, we're going to push that off for a moment. Good lord. Hard mode, why must you be such 
brutal biznitch. <laughs> All right, we're just going to continue and do other stuff so I don't feel like a complete failure today. How about that? We're going to do that. <laughs> Main story stuff is easier. So we're going to go collect that reward. Go find those other parts for the other Lunar Tears for a meal. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see. And honestly, part of me is thinking of just maybe saving up the money and just buying a shitload of healing items. Because that flying section that we have to do, I got stuck on just because I got... I was like in areas where it's like I couldn't avoid getting damage. And I just had no healing items to like heal from that. So if I get a whole bunch of healing items, we should be set for going into that. And by the way... God, it's so annoying that they do, like, a huge flying section, but it's, like, broken up to, like, seven different parts, and it's just, like, could we just please have, like, a normal boss fight? <laughs> and not some, like, hour-long adventure split up to seven parts where if, like, you end up getting right to the end and you can't beat the final part, you have to redo the whole... all seven parts again. That'd be great. <laughs> Plus, hopefully, if we find a meal again, we can find, uh... He can sell us some high-level chip sets. Ah, no. There we go. Amusement park, that's where we needed to go. That's where one of the lunar tiers was. I'm gonna talk to this guy up here. I believe I gave him a hundred thousand so far. Well, let me check. Okay, so here's the thing with the endings. I'm pretty sure, like, none of them are, like, exclusive to... Like, you can only get this on your first run-through. So I just want to kind of focus on just doing, like, the main A ending. And just, like, try to go down the list. I know that's probably not, like, the best way to do it. It just helps me, like, keep it all in order. So yeah, we have given them a lot. Let's donate some. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. We need to give them a hundred. We already gave you like a hundred G, you asshole. So now we have a minimum of having to give him a hundred G. That's what we were stuck on. All right. Okay, so I guess we're not doing that. Whoop. Crap, we missed the thing. Yeah, like, me doing that, the, uh, I believe it was K ending when we ate the fish. That was a total by accident. Like, if we accidentally find one, cool. If not... That's fine. But yeah, I just want my first playthrough to be, like, as straight as possible. Oh, okay, that was 2B. For a second there, I was like, what's that noise? And it was 2B behind us. I mean, um, 9S, not 2B. God damn. Numbers and letters names. Where was the lunar tier? I think it was... Oh, oh, it was over under the stairs. That's where it was. Okay, the rest are joke endings. Okay. It's a lunar tier. I'd better tell Emil. Hey there! What's going on? I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at- Don't move an inch! I'm coming! 
Don't move? I'm actually kind of busy. Sorry to keep you. Damn, you're fast. Uh, that's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded, I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. You did? I think I had something I wanted to protect. Something really precious to me. But I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Mm. Mm. Okay. Alright, good to know. Uh, we have one more location for a lunar tier. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Nine, Ninus! Jesus Christ! Calm down! Holy hell! What the hell? Why is he attacking? Is it because we put him on aggressive? He's become a fucking psycho? Jesus Christ! Be chill, dude. Okay, we're taking you off aggressive. Holy hell. Murder anything that moves. Jesus. Uh, we're turning you into a pacifist. How about that? Why did we come this way? Uh, I hate this way. <laughs> Whee! Over here. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that would only mean, like, when we were in fights. We're not doing that quest for a very long time. Honestly, I'm okay with that for, like, the main, like, just running around. Not having him really attack much. Yep. Whoa, there we go. Come on. Like, I couldn't not select you before. Just... There we go. Alright. Yes. Cautious, maybe? Crap, I can't remember what a standard setting is. I'm assuming... Oh, maybe balanced would be... Oh, we got mail! Popular. Notification received from access point. Where are you, Emil? I know you go flying around all over the place here. All right. Aha! <laughs> Welcome. You have such an awesome theme song, you know. Oh, what? Are these these are weapons we can use? I did not know this was a type of weapon. I thought. We only had, like, you know, basic sword, spear, and claymore. Wait, what? 
Changing, taking damage will not remove your clothes in any way. What does that mean? I didn't even know that was an option. Does it remove... What? We're buying this. We have not used this weapon type before. Now. Why are you going southern on us, Emil? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's look at putting that on. See how that works. So weapons. Put it into slot two. I should probably use the that heavy claymore more. It's level three. It does a buttload of damage. Oh. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> what? It's self-destruct. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I do. I think I remember seeing something about that. I know at the very beginning of the game, we do a self-destruct in, like, the story. I didn't know that was an actual thing we could do here. Like, what would be the point of a self-destruct? Would that just, like, kill the enemy we were fighting, but it would lose all our chips or something? Combat bracers. Right, I just want to see how those work. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there was something in systems that we had to change, right? Was it under controls? No. Settings. By the way, I love how they integrated, like this settings menu as like a menu like canonically within like the robots I have self destruct on I can't remember oh my god like I remember we did it in the main story but like I can't remember, like, the actual functionality of doing it. Like, how do you activate it? Just so I know. For the... I'm gonna hold on. I'm assuming that's going to be an ending as well. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... Ooh! We are the champion. The greatest in the world. Oh, what?! That is dope! Oh, okay. So I... Yeah. I, I completely forgot that was a thing. But yeah, is there... Like, any way to leverage self-destruct in, like, combat or anything? Or is it just, like, a thing you can do? I'm assuming this is going to be one of the endings. Because that could be, like, tactically an advantage if you were, like, fighting a war. It's like, yeah, you can just run in, self-destruct, and just, like, reload to another body. Yeah, I did it. have not done this at all. Oh, okay, so it's super small. I thought it was going to be like a big explosion like before. Oh, that's what it meant by clothes. Okay. I did not realize that was a thing. Our cheeks are flapping in the wind. <laughs> How do we get our dress back on now?
Actually, do I even want to save? No. Crap, wait, no, that was a giant mistake, wasn't it? God damn it! I wasn't thinking! I was thinking I was gonna heal! Oh, okay, thank Christ. For a second, I'm like, wait, does self-destruct throw away all my chips? <laughs> Ah. Alright, so yeah, how, how do we get our clothes back on now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there something on the ship about changing clothing? And in fact, it's been a hot minute since we went up there, so let's teleport up to the bunker. Yeah, the exhibitionist achievement. <laughs> or some such. Or like, what was it? Oh, there was an achievement in, uh... Replicant. Where if you... Uh, position the camera behind Kaine long enough, she'll, like, kick the camera back. Can't remember. There was a name for it. I think it was, like, Little Devil or something like that trophy. And there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, we just automatically have our clothing on. Hmm. Uh, let's go check the other areas. I don't th think there are missions here right now. I think we already did the ones that we have access to. But let's check the other areas to be sure. I really hope at some point we'll be able to customize our little flight ships. Those things are dope. Yeah, if you do it ten times, and that's like how you get the trophy. He ends up whooping your ass to death. <laughs> Which I only have... Damn it. Why do you do this sometimes, camera? get stuck like the other day uh when we were playing the main story the camera kept getting stuck in the middle of the uh flight combat and it would end up like behind the enemy instead of in front of the enemy so it's like it was super awkward angling on trying to see where i was supposed to shoot it's just like god damn it oh yeah oh shit i forgot there was a shop up here Okay, it's just basic stuff. Great pods. Um, these seeds, I just sold off a bunch of those. The power... The power up, I need to figure out where to get. And then the pure water is in the ocean front. Yeah, she gives you a clear warning ten times. Nine times before she murders you on the tenth time. Use is just regular stuff. That's pretty good. That's only level- that's only plus four and it's 40%? God damn. Although I hate you can see those treasure chests you can't open until, uh, the ending. It's like, why? Why must you just dangle them in front of us? Like, you want this? Too late, you won't get it. back. Actually, wait, no, no. There was, um... One of the tiers. Desert camp. That was over in the desert. Which we should go get for a meal.
Jesus Christ, every time. <laughs> I think the moose is going to attack. Oh yeah, okay, so our clothes come back after we visit the bunker. Okay. Where was that? What was that lunar? Okay, up ahead more. Quite a bit more. Do 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 do. Yeah, man, right now it feels like I'm playing nothing but hard games. <laughs> Near, kind of hard. Uh, playing Cuphead. That. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I am super stuck on one dude. <laughs> and then uh, Genshin Impact, we've gotten to like a point where all of the enemies are so high level. <laughs> I really have to work for it. Like, ugh. As soon as I beat Cuphead, I'm going to be playing some easier games. What's this right here? How do we... Wait, was that the alternate exit? How do we get up there? Huh. I'm assuming we have to go like around to get it get up there. God dang, I could have I think we've already been up there before, but I can't remember how. I'm gonna look at the map, maybe that will jog my memory. It was this safe spot here. Oh, oh, it was the underground tunnels! That's what it was. I completely forgot that was a thing in this area. There's underground tunnels we can go to. There are only th three power-ups in the game. Dude. All right. Um, I don't know how many pods there are total. Um, when I searched them on their wiki, only three like popped up on the first page. So I don't know if there are only exactly three, or if there are still more. Yeah, we like, looked at this when we first started. I completely forgot. I meant to come back down here and look because, like, the enemies were kind of weak and, like, we could actually deal with them. Huh. There's just something about, like, some of the world exploration in this that reminds me of Dark Souls. Where it's just, like... Those weird ledges where it's like, maybe you can, maybe you can't walk on. And then you find out there's like a whole little crevice over there. And it's just like, ah, there was a way past. So if my... No, back, 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 back. Oh, actually, wait, no, what? They don't do any damage. All right. They're way too weak. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. I don't know where any of these lead, so I'm just kind of randomly running. Oh, is this it? Or no, no, no. In it.
Dang it, lockbox. Oh, oh, no, okay. I thought it was another one. Small gear, small screw, small rusted bolt. All right. Wait, we just got a bunch of stuff for that. And right now, my list for games that I want to play on stream is, like, so big. <laughs> like, there's two, like, uh, what was it? Uh, da -da -da. I'm drawing a blank on the name. Psychonauts. Uh, I'm going to play Psychonauts 1 and 2 at some point in a row. I want to finish up the Destroy All Humans series. We have 2 and 3 that we need to play. Um, I just picked up like the Digimon games, like the newer ones that are like turn-based RPGs that came out in the last few years. I picked up all three of those. It's like, oh my god, so much time consuming <laughs> stuff. Plus, I also want to try to do, like, all the Souls games. Mainly because I want to use it as an excuse. Because I keep on... I have a bad habit with Dark Souls games where it's like, I'll play them. And, like, I'll beat them. But then, like, the DLC comes out and, like, I never return for the DLC. And it's like, damn it. I completely destroyed Dark Souls 3, but then I never went back for the DLC. And it's like. It's like I want to try to play those on stream just so I can like, go and play the uh, DLC that I kind of dipped out on. Oh, this isn't the right one either. Alright. Dang it. I wish... Is there... Uh, move, rotate. I don't think... Is there, an, is there a way to... Oh, oh. Um. How do we move, move the camera down more or something? We could see a more in-depth view. That... How we look underground. Dang it. Can't look any deeper than that. Okay, cool. We only have topographical view. We can't, like, map out these ruins or these caves. The, uh, big map. But yay, I forgot. All the robots in the desert are, like, hella weak, at least in this area. So we can actually take damage and not be exploded. <laughs> It. Nope. Or actually, wait, maybe this is. Can we jump over to it? Maybe that's what it is. Ooh, almost fell. Andy. I forgot I have a glide ability that I can use. Oh, nice. Ah, there you are. It's a lunar tier. I'd better tell Emil. I think we found all these before. Hey there. What's up? I found a lunar I'm on my way. Sorry to keep you. 
As speedy as always, I see. Oh. Oh. That's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well. So I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? <sighs> I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Oh, God damn it! That means we'll never get the answers. I wonder if that's the last one, or is there more? I think that was the last one on our map, and I don't know if we'll find more in other areas. I'm trying to think if we saw any more tier lunar tiers in other spots that aren't marked. In fights, there's this thingy which we should go check. called factory entrance okay we'll teleport over to there from the desert but uh yeah right now um i was working on trying to platinum uh replicant and right now, the only thing I have left is beat the game. Oh, was it under 12 hours, under 15 hours? So I was going to do my easy playthrough of that. Try to sh shoot right through it. I need to watch some videos first on it, though. Just to see, like... I don't know. What are, like, some time saving? Like, how close do people usually cut it? Because it seems like they just have a lot of cutscenes and it's mainly just trying to get through all of those. That's going to be a real time consuming. Oh wait, no, no, what am I doing? Teleport. Oh, hey, we have two new males. Okay. Uh, 6-0. Oh. oh, hey! Look at that. Nice. This is why you answer your mail. Nice. Alright. Let's uh, teleport to the factory super quick. Factory. Yeah, let's see what this one's all about. Because, yeah, there's those two other quests that are there. But they're like underground, so maybe this will help us get up there. We will see. Do you see? Uh, hold on, wait. Uh, save first. <laughs> And wait, hold on. Uh, let me check my chips real quick before we get on it. Okay, it popped off, so let's customize. Optimize. That's gonna be close. Let's see, do we have enough room? Deadly heal the 40%. No, we do not. But what do we have on? Maybe we could take something. That 
Okay. Uh. Actually, this one's kind of useless, the, val the damage value. Look at that. Those two seem extra. Uh, weapon up, range up, shockwave. Range defense. E. Maybe evasion range I could take off. Well, I don't know. This evasion range... I don't know. I feel pretty okay usually evading. I usually try to play further away, so maybe I don't need this at all. Uh, so I'll remove that. Okay. And then let's uh, add in. Crap, what was it? Deadly heal? Crap, what was it? Crap! <laughs> it does? Okay. Well, okay, we'll, we'll just try it out without it. Like, honestly, I haven't... I just put that on not too long ago. So, I've been playing most of this game without it. And I've been doing okay. So, we'll just see how this plays out. It seems like in hard mode, most of the things that you put on are just stuff just to, like, keep you alive. Let alone make you actually strong. <laughs> All right, we save that. Let's run in here and check this out. Check it, check it. See what we got. Oh well, this is immediately bad. Look, that's A 2s handiwork, I bet. But I'm not picking up any sign of A two herself. Hmm? Interesting. What in the world? It's weird that this is. This feels more like a side quest, since the main story marker is oh, over somewhere help me else. Out here. Analysis. It is believed to be a data log related to Yorha Unit A2. What's the data? The data log has been irreparably damaged. Further analysis is impossible. Why do a bunch of machines have A2's data? A2B? I'm picking up other reactions. We should check them out. Wanted to make sure they were like all in the factory. You haven't been here in a hot minute since I wasted that one whole stream on trying to fight here.
I really hope we get access to those elevators. I'm assuming that's how we get to the lower levels. We'll somehow activate those. Damn it! Okay, he turned around. Actually, let's swap. Swap this up. Huh? Yeah, we're fighting pretty low-level dudes, so why not? Oh, wait. Shit, we missed one. Oh, it's over there. Gotcha. Data chip D. Alright. There, one more, it looks like. Definitely find like a lot of copper ore stuff here. Oh no, this must have been for the. Eh, uh... might as well. They do that where it's like, uh, where you get hit and it feels like you're taking a lot of damage from these weaker guys, but it's not. It's like whenever like the camera kind of like twinges or just like that damage effect, it's like, oh god, I'm dying. But then it's like, oh no, actually I didn't really take any damage there. Okay, that's it. That's so weird that areas. Oh no, that's crystal. What? All right, well then. Am I blind? Oh, wait, 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 there's... Oh, yeah, that lower area. Okay, right there. Gotcha, gotcha. Figured it out. We're probably gonna need to swap back to our other weapons. Oh, buddy. Knocking us down and all around. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just now realizing, like, how much we're healing from, like, killing an enemy. That's useful. So useful. And this should be the last one. Okay. I think that's the last of the data chips. Pod, analyze and collate the information from those chips. Analysis complete. Data set contains information about your high unit A2. Collating with data from other chips. Stand by. Collation complete. The contained data is a debriefing report for the Oh! Mother of God, I just realized they're high level. No kidding. That operation was carried out by the Yorha generation that came before us, right? Anyway, mission complete, I suppose. Let's get back to the resistance camp. Okay, I think... I could be wrong, but it looked like the marker that popped up for, like, the next part of this quest was, like, a main story marker. That's what it looked like. Damn it. I wish there was a lock on of some sort. Or enemies. Crap. Which way did we come in? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, let's look at this. I still haven't figured out how to get those two. Um, weird. I could have sworn I saw this marker pop up. Instead of just one of these smaller diamonds. But whatever. I'll do what I want. Oh god. Oh god. I forgot this guy's here. Let's swap back to regular weapons.
And I do need to get some speed chips so I can run faster, so I can do those side quests. Or I don't know, maybe, is there one to, like, increase, like, your dash speed? Or is your running speed and dash speed, like, connected? Aim! Oh, fuck you. Mmm, buddy, alright, not cool, not cool, huh? Oh, okay, that's super not cool. Really need to get a shield for, uh, long range. Alright, there we go. That was quick, that was quick. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, God dang it. I'm sorry. It's a reflex. I, I forgot. Yeah, I have that on. God damn it. I literally was just talking about how good that was. I'm sorry. In hard mode, I'm just paranoid that, like, any hit could literally just murder me. So I need to always have, like, max health. Mm. Alright, let's just teleport right to the, uh... Old camp. Yeah, good point. The whole point of having that ship on is so that I don't have to use healing items. But yeah. Received from access point. Ooh, yay. Pod? Understood. I didn't say anything yet. The conversation between Operator 6O and Unit 2B has been analyzed. Hypothesis. Unit 2B wishes to send Operator 6O a gift from the surface, so that she might be able to experience it in some fashion. That's right. Proposal. The gift should be a photograph of a rare flower. You think? Analysis of historical data indicates that human females enjoyed viewing the reproductive organs of flowering plants. If Unit 2B can procure appropriate image data, it could be uploaded to the bunker. Proposal. Unit 2B should obtain an image of the plant known as the Desert Rose. All right. Pod, take a photograph of the Desert Rose and send it to Operator 6-0. Affirmative. Image data transfer complete. Oh, wow. Hold on. 2B, this is Operator 6-0. Pick up! 2B here. Go ahead. Thank you so much for the picture. So this is a desert rose, huh? It seems almost... mystical. There must just be a bounty of nature down there, huh? Some, yes. I've seen lilies, cherry blossoms, daffodils, and even lunar tears. I'll try to send more if I can. Oh, Tubi, I'm going to treasure this forever. Oh, and I'm going to send you a proper thank you mail later, so keep an eye out for it. Bye! <laughs>
it's very weird. Some of these quests, like they just give you bare like I wonder what that was not as much XP as you'd think. Something must have been up between anemone and A2. Some things just aren't easy to talk about, especially for a soldier who's been fighting that long. I guess so. 9S, you... Huh? You might understand yourself someday. Right. We got more XP for sending someone a picture than we did for giving them data. Yay! 34. You know what's super sad is when we were playing the main story, the uh, gunner mission we're about to, we gained two levels because we kept on replaying that end section so much. <laughs> and we ended up losing them because we had to backtrack. It feels like there's two songs playing at once. God, the music of this game. Oh, God. I need to look up the name of the composer. That's something I should have done a long time ago. So good, the music. Yeah. I know, but, like, if it's an important, like, story beat, like, you'd think the XP would be... Like, not a lot, but it's just, like... Like I just showed, we, we sent someone a picture and we got like 800 XP. We give someone important information, 400 XP. Like, come on. I'll, like, you could at least do 500. That extra 50 bump. <laughs> you cheap skates. Um. Alright, quest wise, we got a bunch of quests. <laughs> Most of them we can't do. Like the Robo Dojo. Which is the funnest thing to say. Robo Dojo. Uh, this boy's up at level 40, and he's a black belt, and he will whoop our ass. Aichi? Yeah, me, like, there are not too many, like, video game composers that I actually, like, look into beyond, like, musical soundtracks. But, uh... The composer for Kingdom Hearts and the composer for Nier. Or both, just like, God, how do they nail it every single song? <laughs> so hard. Like, none of them are phoned in. Ridiculous. Uh, Turf War. Get our butts kicked on that one. Uh, Trials in the Sand we might be able to do. It's recommended level 25. We're almost 10 levels ahead, which mean in hard mode, we might be able to do it. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that's the one that we died on before. Halfwit's the guy that needs the 100,000. The speedster, this is the one where I need to like level up my uh, running chips. Emil's memories. Okay, so there are definitely more. I don't know if there's more lunar tiers we can find in the areas we already have, or if we have to wait for other regions to open up. I'm trying to think. I could have sworn I found another lunar tier somewhere else. The wandering couple, I think, is by the ocean front. Well, the Tekken games, really? Wow, really? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like... When I think of great music, I don't really think of, like, any fighting game, really. That's kind of, uh, mind-blowing there. Although, to be fair, I haven't played Tekken since... Like, Tekken 2? On the PlayStation 2? Fun fact, there's a Tekken live-action movie, and it's about as good as you think it would be. <laughs> Which means... Yeah, not really. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I haven't played Tekken in a while. Um, last fighting game I played... Oh, yeah, I was just on a kick where I was playing some Mortal Kombat. I did a... What was it? 10 and 11 back-to-back. -back. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Mortal Kombat. I like the gameplay. Like, I prefer Injustice because I like the characters more. But god, I cannot get into Mortal Kombat no matter how hard I try. This story is just like, what the hell is happening? Why is Raiden so white? <laughs> oh god. Uh, then I did like, uh, Street Fighter V. I played that for a little bit. Again, it's just like, Street Fighter V, I can get into this story if it's like an anime. But, like, the story in the game is just so base. Unfortunately, a lot of fighting games have problems with story, where it's just like, God, you're a huge successful video game, yet so many of you do cheap ways out for story, where it's just like, I think it was Street Fighter V, where it was like, not even good, like, pictures that were drawn, they were just like very mediocre, and it was just like a freeze frame with like narration over it, and it's just like, why would you do this Street Fighter? You've been a huge success for like 20 years. Learn to make a fucking cutscene. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't played Tekken in a long time. Uh, what was a virtual fighter? Not too long ago came out with the free version. And I got into that. Although I have been wanting to try out Tekken 7. Oh yeah, that one's been there for like forever. All right. Well, we're at 45% complete. That's weird. All right. Honestly, main story-wise, it doesn't really feel like we did a lot. It could just be me. So. Oh yeah, and Marvel vs. Capcom too. I also played that not too long ago. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I did not get super into it. I only really played this story for like about an hour or so. But I want to. Like, I really like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I wish they stayed the 2D route. Where they were just like, hand-drawn style. Oh. I hear you. I will find you, Emil! Oh, there he is. I don't have the money to buy anything, but still. I don't know all the different kinds of items he sells, so I just want to see. Yeah, I remember when I was playing it on PS2, I, like, I really dug it. So, when I, th when I think about, like, for real, like, fighting games that I'm really into... Like, I'm not- I'm not good at fighting games, but I enjoy them. I'd say Tekken is definitely up there. It's like Tekken, Marvel vs. Capcom. And then... I think Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, Fighters. And, like, then all the rest of them, I just, like, kind of just check in every so often just to see, like, Hey, do I like you yet? Yeah, you're still kind of mediocre. Virtual Fighter is fun, but it's got a level of depth that I just cannot get into because I do not have a fight stick. <laughs> and just like some of those fight games, it's like you need to be like all in on it if you want to play it. And it's like I respect it. I am not good at it. But I wish you luck. <laughs> Although I also do like checking in on Evo every so often. Oh yeah, and Smash Brothers. I always forget about that. I kind of forget that that's a fighting game. I don't know why. <laughs> I just kind of think of it more of a party game. But, uh, Smash Brothers. The last time I played Smash was on Nintendo 64. <laughs> oh god, oh god. And I really want to try the new one that's come out. But I'm afraid that I'm gonna play it and it's just gonna like not connect. Hey there. 
because last time I played it, like I said, it was on Nintendo 64, and I mo mainly just played it with friends. And, like, nobody I know now, like, plays it. So it's like... Yeah, every time I play it, like, I only f see, like, the enjoyment out of it by, like, playing it with other people. Like, doing it solo doesn't really... Didn't really do much for me. <laughs> yeah, I played it... Okay, the PS2 was definitely out by the time I played it. Uh... It was before Kingdom Hearts came out, so that was over 20 years ago. <laughs> Although I do, like, keep tabs on it. Like, I do, like, follow the series. And I, like, see, like, some streamers and whatnot that play it. Uh, bye. Okay, materials again. Yeah, so far the only time I saw him uh, sell chips was over, over there. Oh, I'm an old man. I'm 29, dude. <laughs> I'm almost 30. All right, what are we doing? All right, how old are you? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking. Wait, no, come on. I want to see. Maybe, maybe that he's died. Maybe there's something up t up here. Because it's weird that he still has a marker on him if he's on. Well, I'm saying I'm old just because, like, I'm on Twitch. Most people here are under twenty. In terms of, like, viewership. So I'm hedging my bets. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, my Game Boy didn't have color. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I played the shit out of uh, Pokemon Yellow on my original Game Boy, which was gray and green. Good times. Yeah, when I said, uh, view, uh, I was talking more like, uh, I know most people that are streaming are usually 25 and up. Like, eh, I, I'd say a decent amount. I mean, like, viewership, like, pe other, other, other mm, stammering. People that are watching, I mean, are usually, uh, more in the younger range, if I had to assume. In fact, most of the people I watch, I think, are older than me. And I don't even watch a lot of individual streamers i mostly watch like easy allies kind of funny game attack all of those people and uh you know whenever like uh, let's play like rooster teeth and them do like live streams i usually at least like check in to see like what they all doing Yeah, there's not too many individual streamers I actually watch. It's mostly like group or like company kind of streamers that I watch. Oh. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Got mail. One of these days it's gonna be Tom Hanks. And it's gonna be a love letter. And it's gonna be a wicked romance for like ten years.
That was a terribly cheesy 90 movie called You Got Mail. I miss Tom Hanks. I wish he did more movies. <laughs> I wish they would do The Burbs too. Nobody would ask for it, nobody would want it, but everybody would love it. Great movie. Totally underrated. <laughs> what? See, that's way too much. Like, man, I'm more of, like, a YouTuber than I am a Twitch. Like, when it comes to, like, watching stuff. It's like, I love watching, like, introspectives and stuff like that. And, like, people doing, like, like full-on breakdowns of games and stuff like that. Recently, I've been getting, like, super into, like, urban exploring videos where, like, people just explore, like, abandoned towns and stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> you always go through, like, weird funks on YouTube where it's like, oh, I need to look up one thing. Then it's, like, six hours later and you're watching, like, this is how you treat a snake bite. It's like, how the hell did I get here? Yeah, I get that. We're level... F we're level 34. No, okay. I was thinking maybe we should go fight the Black Belt, but no, he's level 40. He'll... He'll beat us up for our lunch money and take our chips! We are not yet masters of the Robo Dojo. I need to make that a shirt. Robo Dojo. Honestly, I'm just wandering around right now. I. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting close to the end of the stream. I don't want to start the main story because that's going to be a real big thing that we're going to have to deal with. <laughs> Although I, now that we're level uh, 34, that will definitely help out a lot. Oh, where'd he go? Oh wait, no, was that, was that a chip? It is! Range attack up, yes! That's what we need. Yeah, I know what you mean. The live streams on YouTube are weird. I don't know why. If anything, I usually just watch them afterwards. When they're archived. Like, I go into one of the um, YouTube streams and it's just like, It's that guy! The guys on Twitch know! You cheated on them! With YouTube. How dare you? Although to be fair, I live my life on my schedule. Well, a lot of the times when I do watch content on Twitch, it is usually uh, VODs and whatnot, unfortunately. Alright, um... God, I keep on trying to... Think. What should we do? We have the boar. This one I don't get. It's like a locked door. We can't enter. It bothers me that there's a tag there for it, even though we can't access it. Um... Oh yeah, robot, robot dungeon. Let's do that. Desert. Yeah, that's the one we want. Alright, we're gonna try the robot dungeon. 
I'm hoping it's only three waves of enemies. Because that's how far we got in last time. And we died on the third wave. I'm hoping we'll be able to uh, take him out this time. Because I have no idea what you get from the robot dungeon. Save super quick. But, yeah, you can't lose your chips in the dungeon, I'm pretty sure. Or, like, the col the robot coliseum, I think, probably is more accurate. Nice. Yeah, I haven't even begun to, like, think about, like, a lot of this stuff. I'm mainly waiting until I have at least 50 followers before I start, like, uh, thinking about, like, modding and badges and, like, all that different kind of stuff. Because right now I just have, like, a basic bot. And it's like, eh, good enough. And I keep on meaning to update my stream overlay. I've been working on it. And it's just like, I'll work on it for like 10 minutes. And then I'll like get distracted by something. And it's like, shit. Keep doing that. I was supposed to be finished with it like two weeks ago. But then I keep on thinking, it's like, oh, maybe I changed this or I changed that. It's like, god damn it. This is why I shouldn't work on my own stream overlays. I keep on trying to change it to something else. All right, level 25. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting we can't use the pod in this. All right, the claymore takes longer swing time, so I need to... No, it's like, uh, like I'll start working on it and then I'll like think of another project or maybe like, or, like, oh, maybe I'll change the theme to something different. And just like when I'm looking for like reference photos and stuff to like help me make what I want, I'll end up thinking, oh, maybe I should change the theme to this instead of this. And then I'll like start that and it's just like, nah, I'll, I'll do it this way. It's just indecisiveness on what I want or just like trying to get to what I want but then finding like a whole bunch of other shit that's like I end up working on it's just like god damn it Whoa. pretty sure these guys do shock waves Whoa. I don't know if they can do shock waves if their armor is broken or if that's how they do shock waves is after it's broken I, I need a little faster so I can be safe dipping in and out oh Oh god. There we go. Alright, got him. Alright. There we go. Okay, that was so much quicker than last time when we came in here. <laughs> Oh, screw you, spear guy. Oh, not happening. 
Actually, do our chipsets work in here? I'm pretty sure they do. But I just need to know, just so that, like, if I take damage, I can heal it back up. Oh. Ooh, buddy, I don't think so. Okay. Just wanted to be sure because, like, you can't use your pod in here, and I didn't know if there was any other restrictions. I'm playing super cautious. There we go. Yeah, to be to be fair, they could do like some BS where it's like, oh, there's a chip limiter or EMP something, blah blah. <laughs> Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, Alright. I didn't realize how little damage they did. Oh, they're level 25. It feels like once you're roughly 10 levels above someone, you can take, like, multiple hits from them and you're good. For the most part. At least for these little dudes. Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah. Is that it? Yes. Complete. Oh, holy hell. Wow, they give us a lot. Range defense up. Yeah, those are I believe those are all the temporary buffs. Oh. Okay, I had theories that this was going to be a lot more bigger of a deal of why, like, why they're dressed like this, but okay. A little lackluster, a little disappointing. Alright, let's just see what the first few rounds have to offer. Oh, fuck off. What? Fight without evading. How do you do that? Does jumping count as evading? Or is it literally just dashing? How How do you... Oh, fuck off. This is... Oh, my God. Okay, I need to take out these guys first. Because they're annoying as hell. Hell? Oh, okay. I could I could take a little bit of damage. Nope. I I evaded. Shit. Self preservation. Fudge. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do that one. I'm probably I should get the long range uh, shield. That's probably what I should do for our pod. That would probably help, as well as uh, increase our long-range damage defense. That would probably help. But hey, we completed the first round. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, the light turns us. Yeah, I was actually about to get off. I'm about, yeah, three hours. I'm, I'm already done for today. I was about to save and then hop off myself. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hanging out. And now let me just do my exit Rick'em a roll I do every stream.
All right, so that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for everyone for coming out and hanging out. If you can, hit that follow. It really helps me out. And if you want to see any of my past streams, they're all over on my YouTube channel. The link is down below, as well as a link over to my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online and what I am playing. And yeah, that is it for today. Tomorrow, we're going to be picking up where we left off. Um, we're probably going to try to go straight to the main story and try to do that like right off the bat. Uh, I might stop into town to pick up more healing items just so like we are super covered. But we still have like, I think 30 plus medium heals, which should probably be more than enough for that. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do that like right off the bat and we'll see where we go from there, whether or not we can do some more side quests or if we're just going to follow the main mission along. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan for tomorrow. Monday, we're going to be continuing Cuphead. I only have two bosses left to fight before the big final boss showdown. We'll see how that goes. We spent like over an hour yesterday fighting one boss and we still didn't beat him. And then on Tuesday, we're going to be playing some Genshin Impact, getting into that. Going to be doing some more exploring. I'm still putting off doing the uh, story that's come out with the newest update just because I want to fully explore the region. So we're going to be doing some more side quests. And uh, that is my schedule for the next couple of days. That is it for day 375 of streaming in a row. Uh, again, thank you very much, everyone, for coming out and hanging out. And hopefully I will catch you guys tomorrow.